In this video, I'll demonstrate how to generate a mesh for a coastal model in SMS. The mesh will have spatially varying element sizes to minimize run times while still representing the site with sufficient accuracy. We'll accomplish this by setting up a size function using the dataset toolbox. First, I'll begin by bringing my coastline file. Go to File, Open, and select your .cst file. This is a coastal segment from Shinnecock Bay off Long Island, New York, which we will use to generate our boundary conditions. First, let's specify the coverage type as AdCirc. In the Project Explorer, right-click on Default Coverage, select Type, Model, then choose AdCirc. Choose the Select Feature Arc tool and click on the Coastline Arc. Now go to Feature Objects in the menu and select Define Domain. We will choose the semicircular option. Click OK. We now have to define the model boundary. Double click on the arc and select the appropriate option for each. For example, this arc represents the coastline or mainland and the other arc represents the ocean boundary. We will reproject this data to match the projection of our bathymetry data that we will import next. Go to the Edit menu and choose Reproject. We need to specify the current projection as geographic and set the new projection to be UTM Zone 18. Now we can bring in the bathymetry of the model. The file that I am using is a .pts file. This is a collection of points with corresponding elevations. SMS has a built-in wizard that will help you import these points. Now we have all the necessary data to make a finite element mesh. There are many ways to create a mesh from a set of scatter points. In areas of interest like the coastline and inlets, we may want to have a dense mesh to show more detail. Unlike the ocean boundary, where mesh density isn't as important. In this example, we'll use a size function to help define the mesh density. Let's begin by using one of the built-in tools in SMS to calculate the wavelength and celerity at each point. In the scatter module, go to Data, and then Data Calculator. Under Tools and Coastal, choose Wavelength and Celerity. Verify that the Z dataset is selected then click Compute. Wavelength and Celerity datasets will then be added to the Project Explorer. Next, we'll multiply our wavelength values in our dataset by 10. In the Data Calculator, you can either type the D identifier of the wavelength dataset or double-click the dataset to add it to the expression. Then finish the expression by adding times 10. We will call this new dataset Wavelength 10x. Click Compute and SMS creates a new data set where each scatter point value is the wavelength at that point multiplied by 10. Select Done to return to the main screen. Let's set up another data set whose value increase from the central point of our choosing. Let's select a central point in the inlet. In the edit window at the top of the screen, make note of the X and Y values because they will be used to create this data set. In the data calculator, we will name the data set distance. Now let's set up the expression using the x and y values of that central point. Square root, x location, minus that x value, squared, plus y location, minus that y value, squared. Select Compute to create the data set. We have just created a new data set where the values in the scatter set represent the distance from the central point we specified. Let's visualize the new data set using color filled and linear contours. You can see that the contours resemble somewhat of a target with a bullseye at our selected point. We will now create a scale based on the distance a point is from the central point we specified. In the data calculator, Let's name this dataset Scale. In the Calculator field, we will enter the Distance dataset divided by the Max Distance. 
You can find the max distance by clicking on the data set and selecting data set info. Copy the max value displayed in this dialog and paste it to the end of the expression. Now we have a data set that represents the distance from the central point to each scatter point ranging from 0 to 1. 0 being the central point and 1 being the furthest. We are now ready to scale our size function using the scale data set we just created. We'll call this new data set radial size. In the calculator, choose the max function, and we will replace the question marks with our desired inputs. We'll enter 50, and then the wavelength 10x data set times the scale data set. We will choose the maximum value of 50 and the product of wavelength 10x and scale data sets. We also want to smooth our size function so element sizes transition gradually. We can do so by using the Smooth Datasets tool, which is found under the Spatial category. We'll name the Smooth Dataset Radial Size Smooth, and then click Compute. Click Done to exit the Dataset Toolbox. It's time to create our mesh. First, we'll build polygons by choosing the Map module and selecting Feature Objects from the top menu, and then build polygons. We now have a polygon generated from the arc. Choose the Select Polygon tool from the Dynamic Toolbar and double-click inside the polygon. In the 2D Mesh Polygon Properties window, we'll choose the Scalar Paving Density option under Mesh Type. This Mesh Generation method will use dataset of our choosing to create mesh elements inside the polygon. The size of the elements will be dictated by the values at each point in the specified dataset. We'll also specify the interpolation option SMS will use when creating the mesh using our Smooth Size Functions dataset. Click on the Scatter Options button under Mesh Type. Verify that the interpolation method is set to linear and enter a single extrapolation value of 50. This will keep your mesh uniform even when there are no data points. Select truncate values with a min of 50 and a max of 5000 for the size of the mesh elements. Finally, select the Radial Size Smooth dataset as the scatter set to interpolate from. Click OK to save your selections and return to the 2D Mesh Polygon Properties window. We now need to tell SMS how to assign elevations to the mesh we will create. We can do so in the Bathymetry Type section of the 2D Mesh Polygon Properties window. We'll choose the Scatter Set option and then select the Scatter Options button in the Bathymetry Type area of the window. Verify that the linear interpolation method is selected, then specify a single extrapolation value, 0. Choose the scatter set named Z in the scatter set to interpolate from area on the right, then click OK. Make sure the polygon type is set to Ocean. Choose OK. Finally, we can convert our map data to a mesh by selecting Feature Objects from the top menu and clicking on Map to 2D Mesh. Click OK with the default selected. Now we have a lovely mesh. There are many ways to generate a mesh using size functions. This video should give you an idea of the powerful mesh generation tools in SMS.